Hug. Let's walk and talk. Yeah, fuck you. I needed your help at the beginning. You just left me. <laughs> oh sh. Alright, so the next game I'm gonna play is The Complex. This is another interactive game. Again, I just picked this out. I have no idea what it's about. And they are the same developers as Late Shift that I played on my previous way back in my other stream when I came back, I think back in March. But yeah, let's see what this one's all about. <sighs> Holy shit, the other game. Alright, let's play a new game. I The only reason why it's on resume is because I was testing it out to see if it needed to pair with my phone just like Erica. But yeah, let's start a new game. Uh, erase, okay, whatever. Let's see what this is about. Oh, Lord. Uh, full body cleanses on both space is sterile. <sighs> Did you get blood samples for Kensington's research project? Mm hmm. <sighs> nice work, Dr. Wakefield. So, another drone? Yeah, they dropped nerve agent on their apartment block. A woman was coming home from the shops. The boy was playing with a soccer ball. What, you mean uh, a football? I'm Amy. You're... Talon. Pleasure to meet you, Talon. Are you going to hurt me? Wait, which one are you? Oh. I'm Team Doctor. You got injured, but I'll have you back playing football very soon. Reese, I need to administer atropine. Yeah, I, I think it's just on this one bars. a little. Supply tent now. It's okay. It's okay. Atropine injections worked on everyone I treated in Syria. Okay. 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 The Supreme Leader ordered this attack. We're here to help you. He's trying to kill us. Yeah. Both of us will stand against him. Oh. You tell me. Who does Calico ruin my life? Yes! Be realistic. It's very serious. You're in the best possible hands, I promise. Honesty. Very nice to hear it for once. Thank you. You always want to keep him calm, you know? I don't know if I like the cutscenes on this one. She's pregnant? My baby gonna die. The supply tent's been depleted. There's only one pile left. Make a decision. I mean, obviously, save the girl because she's got a baby. That seems like the right thing to do. Dima, give me your arm. Dima, oh, please, you have God. to trust me. 
This will save you and your baby. Tough decision. I got a trophy. Tough decision, it says. Reese, how do I save them both? Reese! Wait, you just left? The dude just dipped on her. What happened? What? But yeah, the cutscenes on this are a little bit, uh, I don't know how we to describe it. We stand on the precipice of history. I'm Dr. Amy Tennant, it and wasn't as I'm here smooth on behalf as the of the visionary game. Natalie Kensington to inform you how your investments have made that possible. Firstly, we've been using your billions for the great... Oh, it keeps track of my decisions? Okay, 82 percent, 77, 52. Wait, honesty, bravery. Why does it have... Is this showing that... What? Okay, we'll figure this out later. Later, good. The Kensington Corporation's relationship with Kindar has flourished since the resolution of its civil war. Our teams have been working on development projects with some of the country's top scientists. Natalie has even developed an internship program for some of the country's brightest young minds. In fact, some of our Kindarian interns are here with us today. Oh, wee. Is Kindar still a totalitarian state? Human rights violations and all that shit? This guy's a dick. Kindar is at peace, but your concern is understandable. May I continue my presentation? I'm just saying, it's bad PR for us to associate with Kensington. She's dealing with the dictator. Well, as you've seen, that's simply not the case. Why is there so much research happening out there? It's a fucking waste of our money and resources. Kinder is a former British colony, and we're all here trying to help it recover. It seems like good philanthropic PR to me. And mm. it's a tax haven. Good one. <laughs> What? Is this the woman I was pregnant? I don't remember. Looks like her. Now, the real reason you're here. The Kensington Complex. Our impenetrable HQ of laboratories built bespoke to Natalie's specifications by the world-renowned Parker Caplani. Deep within the complex is Security Lab Alpha, a womb of scientific advancement. There, we have something remarkable in development. I'm sure all of your news feeds have told you that Gordon Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if we can hurdle this final obstacle together. She's gonna start throwing out watch. Hey. Hey. You okay? Does it look yeah, like I'm okay? okay? Don't do drugs, okay? <laughs> we can't fit a hospital on a 10 ton Mars lander. How do we get around this? Nano cells. Stem cells interwoven with nanotech. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate extra blood to help catalyze the healing process. Tiny magic bullets. I don't know why when I think of nano cells, I think of nano What's your sheets. problem? Is <laughs> she gonna record her? This is, of course, just a mock-up. The real nanocells are still in development and securely back at the complex, but once they're ready, we can begin regulated human trials. 
Having treated victims of chemical attacks all over the world, I know that nanocells could be miracle tech. <gasps> Damn. What did I say? And there's nobody's helping, they're just standing there. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you're alright, let me get you some tissue or something. Like, they're all just standing. Maybe you need it urgently. Hang on. I have some serious concerns about this. Likewise. Before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Amy, I really can't wait. We need to get you to the car now. It's an emergency. I have to go, but please stay and enjoy the wonderful hospitality. Let's go. We need to get you on the scene immediately. The scene? What happened? Damn. It's already gone viral. I'm ruling out food poisoning. She has that is not what it does. Naturally, everyone's crying terrorism. A suicide bomber with a malfunctioning bioweapon? We need to get her to the complex. Okay, why is this our problem? Because she's one of our interns. Thank God you're here. This is beyond our remit. Excellent quarantine work. I'll examine her back at the complex. And we were waiting on your work. They're just gonna we put her in like that Simple while everybody's right looking at her? The drain will get her there faster. But it's more dangerous. The hell? If crashes, Is this taking place in the future or something? I wasn't even crashes, paying attention. Use the drone, Amy. <sighs> Whatever. Drum. Don't fuck it up. Yeah, it'll probably get her there faster rather than the ambulance you so in traffic. What else do we know about her? Nothing yet. Let's get back to the complex. Yeah, I'm not sure if this was the, the sec first or second game they came out with. But I can compare this with late shift. And Erica, and I would say Erica is much smoother. So I guess Erica came out a little bit later, and they probably like made improvements to their game because the way the cutscenes are in this game is just—it's so—it's kind of like snappy. It's just—it just the music's not always in sync. I can't really explain it. Like, you'll kind of see it when I make the decisions, but... I don't know, it's just weird. But it's the renegade. <laughs> Prospect of losing a friend in a strange country. I can empathize with that. Today we need all your field experience, Amy. Time to roll back the ears. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. <sighs> gotta be kidding me. Nah. It's been a while, Dr. Whitfield. You got here fast. Well, there weren't any blood vomiting ladies Last from the past. Line. That's the truth. Whitefield. Hog. Let's walk and talk. Yeah, fuck you. I needed your help at the beginning. You just left me. So, which legend fed the media the anthrax rumor? And don't tell me they're gonna fall in yeah. love throughout this. No. So, do we have a name yet? Claire Mahek, she's one of us. Inside job. Now, she must be acting alone. Why else would she take the two? Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car service yet, so... Look, if we consider the hysteria might actually be valid. Terrorism. I highly doubt it. Perceptive as ever. Hey, Amy, look. I promise I didn't know you still worked here. If I did, I would have... Stayed away? Yeah, I'm sure. Look. Why are you skydiving? Or bungee jumping? Or whatever it is that you were up to? Because I'm passing through London. I checked my Twitter feed this morning, so something I can no, help with. Plus, Kensington fine. wants my expertise again. Well, He's stuck at her. I'm not disputing that, nor my apologizing for the skydiving. Guy's gotta live. Every dude be saying that, you know they be checking for their girl. That's a damn lie. He wanted her back. That's why he came back to the complex. Okay, thank you. You didn't want to run this by me? Two lifesavers are better than one. 
Reese Wakefield is a deserter. I know he's let us down in the past, but people change. Emily did due diligence to No. Me. Come on. Come on, mate. Hey, uh, guys, can I just, uh, have five minutes? Just, uh, just need to use the jets. What? Can we go, please? I don't give a fuck about him. Still hides behind bravado when the stakes are high. I fear they're higher than we know. Come on, we gotta get to this meet or whatever, the, whatever we're doing. From your assistant, staying in security lab, Alpha. Dang, they just took a go. picture with her like that. <laughs> oh my security god. She got a cheap tablet from China. Look at the back. Nat, is this my tech? Yes. How? I mean, nothing leaves or enters the lab without us knowing about it. Emily and I will get to the bottom of that. You just get the nanocells, otherwise our life's worse. Is she going. from Ireland? All of the nanocells are inside of her? It, it was the master batch. No duplicates were made. Good luck. Wait, what? Woo! Oh my god, you guys are serious about your fashion. Yeah, no more frumpy hazmat suits. Pressure suits. You'll see. All right. Is this guy gonna change? I don't want to change with you. What? Why would they have me change with him? This feel personal. Yes. Claire? Of course. Well, she was in excruciating pain oh. and she stumbled all the way to the tube station. Feels more emotional than just following orders. Yeah, see how it cuts like that? It's not like a natural flow like the other game I played. It just, just immediately cuts off. Like, I don't like that, but. I can understand if this game is like we're going into space. A little bit older, and they approved on it. The other games. Vacuum conditions active. Something like that. Echo. This vacuum acts as the last line of defense to prevent microbes from escaping the lab. The lack of air makes it sterile as hell. Well, that's great on a microscopic level, but it could do with some physical barriers. How long have you worked here again? Just engage. Four years last Wednesday. Yeah, I don't like that. That cut yeah. scene like that. It's, it's not a smooth transition. Just think about some of the stuff we saw. I saw a whole other year's worth after you left. Well, it wasn't just skydiving. I needed a reset. Try new things. Learn anything that could help us today? I hope not. I like the suits they got. It's kind of cool. She's like, awkward. Vacuum conditions inactive. <sighs> wow, it's been two hours and 25 minutes since I've been streaming. Dr. Thomas Malkin, Dr. 
Everly North. This is Dr. Reese Wakefield. He'll be assisting us today. Cool ponytail. Let me take you to her. <sighs> Feels like we're the center of those dolls that go inside each other. My Turkish dolls. Yeah. Russian, aren't they? So what's your story then, Mark? Why did you ask? I wanted to assist Dr. Tennant since I saw a talk at the Plains Summit about the extracellular matrix and lattice in stem cells. Holy shit. It's attacking the bone structure. We've never seen anything like it. Well, I have a sample of her blood under the microscope. That's what I was gonna say. But they're unfinished. There's no off switch, so they're just coursing through her body, producing excess bone and blood. But how could she have contracted them? From a spillage, maybe. They barely survive for two minutes once they're exposed to air, and she didn't have the authorization to access them. Someone's put them in her. No, 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 no. leave it in, Claire. You need it. Feels fucking weird. You're a terrorist. Oh my god. Be a terrible one if I was. I did this for Mina. What for Mina? A terrorist organization. Oh, you stop that, please. Look, how many times have we seen a lone wolf release pathogens into the air? Nano cells aren't airborne. They can only be transferred via blood to blood contact. She's saying that because she's Asian? Answer call. Intern at Kenzie. Maybe she is a terrorist. She's hiding shit. Tell me you can retrieve our nano cells. Not directly. We'd need to extract a large blood sample to keep them active. From there, I'll use that as a roadmap to recreate the master batch. Seems simple enough. She has plenty of blood to spare. Not exactly. Her new bone matter is consuming her body's resources at an accelerated rate. If I remove that much blood in one go, she'll die. And if she dies before you extract her blood? Without a living host, the nanocells will just dissipate. All of our nanocells. So either way she dies. Goodbye. Okay. Amy, we're gonna have to go for the option where we retain our asset. Natalie, I can't just- I'll get back to you, in call. That woman's up to something. What should we do, Doctor? Set up for a full blood diagnostic. There has to be a way to get the nanocells out of her safely. Dr. Wakefield, please replace her IV. I can't risk any outside contamination. Sure thing. Dr. Tennant. this, okay? Don't bite me. Whoa! <laughs> Shit, sorry. A little rusty, you know what I mean? And done. Don't call me mad. He purposely take up blood? Oh, my dog's gonna want it, want me to take Who delivered this crate? Oh, you see a rewrite this morning. He's got it's in the way, it needs to be moved. Ugh. Wait. Re Dr. Wakefield? Can you move this crate, please? <laughs> Fucking assist. Yeah, I'm okay, man. You do us a favor. I've still got to deal with this. I'm in the middle of this. Cheers, fella. What? This 
asshole then. Dr. North! Dr. North! I'm sorry, my shoulder's playing up. Do you mind? Are they? Oh, no. Oh, my God! Oh! Oh! Dr. North? See what happens. I'm, I'm gonna walk the dog real quick, though. <laughs> Can I pause this? All right. I'll be right back real quick. I'm gonna walk the dog. <sighs> Sorry about that. I was walking my dog. <sighs> He's too much. All right. I'm back. Let's continue this. I knew there was something off about Malkin. What kind of a scientist has a fucking ponytail? Oh, thank you. You're fine. Oh, it's Clara, right? I'm currently the safest person in this room. Good enough for me. Why are we in lockdown mode? It's That's detecting the poison. From the acid bomb. It won't be in the air for much longer. Thanks for that. Call Natalie Kensington. Emily, where's Natalie? There's been an incident in the lab. Yeah, I can see that, and the biosecurity's kicked in. I need Natalie on the line right now. I don't care who she's with. Yeah, okay, she's in her office. I'll call you right back. And call. First things first, let's get this cleaned up. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Oh. We'll be back in a minute, Claire. Don't go anywhere. What the fuck? No mistake yet. Yeah. Well, I need to come out one way or another. Kensington could have at least left us some of our expensive whiskey. Ah! Oh, this is gonna stink. What does the sign say on a um, business brothel? Huh? Eh? Ah! Oh! Oh! Beat it. We're close. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> like, beat it. Like, oh man. Mm. Pretty decent joke. Clean this wound. No, 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 it'll be fine. We've got bigger fish to fry. Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? Um. It came from the void. Here, tie this on. I'm gonna go check it out. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to the club, buddy. Don't. Okay, I thought something was gonna scare me. What the hell 
is that? It must be coming from beyond the walls. Is there any security cameras we can check? On the computer, but I don't know how my assistant said that. All right, would you mind? Thank you. These are the security cameras in the void. Shit on the IRA. The cavalry? In masks? What's the rumbling though? Sound doesn't travel in a vacuum. Shit, they've deactivated the vacuum. No prizes for guessing who the brains of this operation is. God bless those security rules, eh? This is impossible. They would need unprecedented access to our security systems to be doing this. Darian, too. I knew you were part of something bigger. Group us all together because they have the same features. Big eyes and big lips, too. The divisions in my country are complex. Those bunch are not from my team. And now they're fucking with us. Answer call. Amy, what's going on down there? You've been infiltrated, Kensington. Dr. Malkin was a plant. Thanks to him, Dr. North is dead. So are my dreams of becoming a professional footballer. But you killed Malkin. Yeah, as you know that. Emily checked security footage from the lab. I mean, does privacy even exist around there? There are three mass intruders in the void, and they're armed. They deactivated the vacuum and bypassed the security wall. I'm still alive. Make sure she knows that. Biosecurity is still enabled, so you are safe no matter what. Well, unless they open the door with that magic laptop. I'll get onto this intruder situation. Oh, well, no, Where's the security at? Well, lockdown mode still active. The poison from the acid bomb has dissipated and the bioprotector is containing Claire's infection. They must be detecting something else. The safety of London is paramount. We can't risk a bug getting into the city. Amy, you need to extract Claire's blood, especially if the intruders have come for her. The nanocells cannot fall into the wrong hands. Well, there's uh, an easy way to prevent that. We smoke Claire. No! End call. Wow. Still can't keep your cool under pressure. She's responsible for this. That makes no sense. We're her only hope at retrieving the nanocells. Yeah, she's going to let us extract the nanocells and then kill us by gunfire. Wow. Leak much? All right, look, Parker Kaplani designed right. this lab, right? Do you think he built an escape route, a back door, anything? I don't know. We'd have to ask them ourselves. What now, Claire? Move the dead people. Wish she died, but... Oh, God. Yeah. She's having him do it, right? Okay, how about this one? Enough with the Natalie theories. Remember those new skills I was telling you about? Well, advanced computing is one of them. Programming, coding. Hacking? I prefer the term unsolicited browsing. Yeah, no, sorry. Hacking is better. Look, I know you two are besties, but I find that a bit... Yeah. Let's access her camera. Give her a little listen. This is how scientists get killed, you know. Where did you learn to do this? I told you I'd have to kill you. Ready? Wait, you shouldn't... Look, she's got nothing to hide. What's the issue? We're in this together. We need to cooperate if we're going to survive. Let him hack it. Go ahead. The three intruders in the void have managed to lock every lift and door giving us access down there. Whatever they've done is called electrical blips throughout the entire building. There are questions. 
Have the security idiots announce an upgrade gone awry. No one can think this clear situation's any more serious than it already is. This seems planned, Natalie. There must be more traitors in our midst. Emily, please. Two people are trapped in that lab with our prized asset. They are our priority. Announce the security upgrade. Clear the airways in case she calls. Who could the traders be working for? Let's ask the original. Claire. Amy. What do you and your friends want? Not an espionage mastermind. They aren't with me. So how did all the nanocells end up inside you? Is it not totally obvious? You should listen to Professor Xavier over there. About what? Kensington. So she put them in you? <laughs> no. <laughs> not me. Come on. <laughs> Have you been at the complex? A year. We've always had passing conversations on higher floors, but I don't think you remember. I always wanted to work in this lab with you. Well, here we are. Claire, come on. Just tell me what's happening so that I can help you. about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Ready for more cryptic bullshit? Answer call. Guys, you were right about the intruders. They've sabotaged the system and have electronically barricaded themselves in the void. Yeah. Tell us something we don't know, please. How are they bypassing your security system so easily? Kensington Corporation's dark plummets a bit to links to... Rescue plans are being made. We'll have you contacted Parker Kaplani. He designed the lab. He'll know how to get us out of here. We've been trying, but he could be anywhere on the planet right now. Parker has no compunctions about who he builds labs for, as long as it pays court. Excuse me. She's up to something. Emily, wait. Please. Give us something. Help us. She's like, this not that I can do. Dr. Malkin. The three intruders in the void, Claire. They all infiltrated the complex expertly. What, another country in the space race, or? Possibly. Well, they might be trying to steal the nanocells, or destroy them. I'm gonna move heaven and earth to try and get hold of Parker. Thank you, Emily. End call. She gotta get killed, watch. Whatever they're doing up there, we need to come up with some ideas of our own. Is there anything else you can do in the computer system? I can hack the communication lines, get in touch with Parker Kaplan and myself. Okay, awesome. You do that. I'm gonna look for a way out of here. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I think the air is getting stale down here. No, that's impossible. Even in lockdown mode, there's always a steady supply of oxygen. something? Welcome back, Sleeping Beauty. I need something to get me past that vent cover.
Oh, she, she's gonna need a ladder. I always wished I was taller. Oh no. She better fall and kill herself. <laughs> Cute, watching wounds. I mean, mine is, mine is slightly more impressive. Mine put both of yours to shame. I hate her. <laughs> What's this deal? There's only one wall left between them and the lab door. Please tell me you got a hold of Parker. Negative. Uh, I got hold of the CCTV footage from the past 24 hours. Okay. Sift through it, see if there's anything helpful. Roger that. Master Batch. How did she get that level of clearance on her ID card? Wait, what were you, you injected yourself? Why didn't the lab shut down? The nanocells need time to diffuse in the bloodstream. I was able to get out of the complex before feeling the effects. What the fuck is she doing in the storeroom? Destroyed all the duplicate nano cells too. What? Mm -mm. I didn't authorize any duplicates to be made. So you were just stealing the master batch for employees to replicate? Who? Who was it? Was it the Russians? No, I was heading to MI6. <clears throat> oh, fucking impeccable timing as always. MI6? Why were you taking them there, Claire? It's a go! We got a hold of Parker. Half true. I was already en route. I get alerted every time shit hits the fan in one of my labs. We also have the identities of the three intruders. Sending them through. Mm -hmm. These guys? They're from last year's batch of Kindarian interns. Sleepers, like Malkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, guys, guys. There's one security wall between them and us. What have you got? What are our best options, Parker? Nothing. I need 10 more minutes to study these blueprints. It's always something. That lab was built to contain world-altering alchemy. So excuse me if back doors weren't part of my thinking. Amy. End call. You guys. Wait, what? Do you want to listen to a fucking bullshit about nanocells again? I've got 10 minutes to think without all that shit. Where did she get that from? Look, I didn't want to end this over. It's not meant for you, but fuck it. We need to see the truth about Kensington and Kinder. What is it? Just watch. Careful, Amy. Always. Was she gonna grab her and set her up? Oh my god. Wait. This is really lame. What? Oh. She's... 
Am I gonna make a? Ch I can never work in these types of places. Your life is always on the line. Did she sanitize that before using it? She just picks it up. Two files. Kensington and Picnic. Which one do you want to watch? Look, look. You've forgotten the wine, but remembered your phone. Typical. Oh, Nina's mad at me these days. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I forgot the wine, okay? Yeah. Brought onion bhajis, egg mayo, <laughs> tomatoes. Claire takes too many selfies in London. <laughs> Not that much. No, <laughs> look, I'm showing the surroundings. Look, look. Look how pretty this grass is. Come on, let's take a picture. Look at the camera. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit, that's scary. Oh god. Whew. Holy fuck. Um, I was not expecting that. I think my mind's concluding the same thing as yours, so do you oh. really play it? Wanna watch that? Please. Oh god, I was not expecting that. If this gets over, we'll be answering to the UN. Kensington Ma. What's the problem? We quashed uprising villages, and you got human trials to assess your technology. Two birds, one in stone. The three whole villages. Your scientists need not know how the data was acquired. The supreme leader is a man of discretion. We trust you are the same. Most certainly. Make sure of it. Or we will. What did I say at the beginning? I said she's, a, she's setting them up. It was so obvious. Fucking knew it. I like the story on this one than the one Erica. You see. The Kandarian government left the Kensington. Experimented with the old nano cells. On my people. My village. My parents. My sister Nina. They were all killed for opposing the dictatorship. Natalie was making duplicates of the master badge behind my back. My tech killed people. And you were taking all the evidence for my six. This should be happening in real life. In that USB and in your veins. Allegedly. Now the Supreme Leader has activated a sleeper cell in the complex to cover his tracks. Yeah, not to mention Natalie's. Why didn't you tell us this before? They didn't trust you. Of course. Now you do, because we're the only ones that can get you out. Reject call. Amy, you need to take a minute and think about this, okay? I'm fine, I promise. Hey, look. I know a rash decision when I see one. Are you not going to expose Natalie? After what you've just seen! We need to deal with our current predicament. Plus, I... I really need the toilet again. Would you believe this isn't the weirdest place I've taken a ship? Do you need me to stay and help you? Ye no. No, you're fine, Miss Matt. I'll be sitting outside. Hey, if we get out of here, will you quit like you said? Pass. I never thought I'd have to answer that question. Oh, you'll do the right thing. You always do. A habit I wish I had. He's sitting on the portie. Well, I might have rubbed off on you if you'd stuck around. He's taking a shit. 
Why'd you leave me? The absurdity. Not knowing whether... Saving someone was the right thing to do if it condemned them to a life of pain. It's too much for me. Coward isn't the man for you anyway. That wasn't your call to make. We were a team. Hindsight's a bitch, eh? Heard of Mr. Crack in Fortnite in Eritrea. Where can I sign up for this war tour and world tour you guys were on? that you love. My feelings are trivial compared to yours. The sense of betrayal, I mean. Come on, give us a break. I meant Natalie. It was a dream come true, getting an internship here. A village girl from Kindar, coming to London to work, to live, to love. Funny story. <laughs> On my first day here, I was super late because I thought there was a station in the complex. Turns out I was looking at the tourist tube map. Disused and unfinished stations. Yeah, that's right, the um, half-built station under the complex. Tabitha Greens. We're so far underground, we must be right. Yeah, you might be right, Claire. Thank you. Anytime. What did I say? We can't go across the void. Should not we forgot. tried going up into the vent, but we haven't tried going down. To Tabitha Greens. You need an access point. We might have one. Reese is sitting on it. Literally, on the fucking toilet. Shitting in it. What do you have to know? I need something that will remove the entire toilet quickly. I need to break that toilet. Tabitha Greens is right below us. You are positively insane. But I fucking love you. So now the big question, how far below us is Tabitha Greens? Right where my shit goes. Go check it out. How am I gonna get down there? It's just gonna slide down there? Bullets won't dent these doors. They were built to withstand much more than that. The Void's last resort defense mechanism is the kicker. 
When it detects a rogue pathogen, it generates a white heat flash to eliminate the threat. <coughs> Don't tell me he's hardwired in already. We are fucking fucked. Anthro Hall. Guys, they're nearly inside, and we know why they're here. Parker, what options have we got? Enough! While Parker was accessing the lab security mainframe for bypasses, we saw records of who gained entry in the last 24 hours. Claire entered using someone else's ID credentials. Yours, Amy. What? That's impossible. My ID card is right here. Amy didn't help me. I snuck into her office and I copied her credentials off the computer. You're the liar, Natalie. You don't have a voice here, Claire. But we know about Kinder. Reese. We have proof. Lots. Nonsense. Look, the intruders are Natalie and Kinder's way of making sure that we die with their dirty little secret. We know that you hack your own security, Natalie. That's ridiculous. Yeah, your cyber security sucks. Even Reese hacked in his name. Reese has been hacking the system. He isn't an employee here, is he? What's your story, buddy? He spent the last few years bouncing between pharma companies around the world. A mercenary. Who side are you on, Wakefield? Emily, I thought you said that you did your due diligence. Slack on your part. Seriously? Our access to Kensington Corporation is only second to yours, Natalie. That's ridiculous. I'd never. Even Parker showed up unannounced. Don't drag me into this. Well, come on, everyone knows you work for anyone who pays your quote. All I know is that if they get in, the nanocells are gone forever. Natalie, please. We aren't the traitors. Help us, stall them, do anything. Amelia, regardless of what we think of each other right now, She's lying. Parker. So we're trusting these guys now? Yes, we are. Can the void jam electronics? Negative. Could you reinitialize the vacuum? The two of them aren't wearing helmets. I can't. They locked us out. Reese could. His computer down there is hardwired into the system. All right. OK, tell me through it as fast as you can. Oi. Help me! Help! Help! What's going on, Claire? Something wrong. My heart. Say that or you catch something at the end. They're still unlocking the door. One down, two to go. Wow. 
What? He shot his own guy. That is crazy. I saw the lab door didn't open. Good work, Wakefield. It was a close one, Parker. Thanks for the lead, Natalie. There's still an armed intruder out there. Parker, what else do you have for us? I could go for Natty's internet, unplug the lab, plug it back in. That would kill lockdown mode and the vacuum for 60 seconds. You guys can then escape before everything initializes. Emily has a security team poised to handle the last intruder. No, that's a shit plan. He's standing right outside the door. Security team of sprinters wouldn't make it down before he wastes us. He's right, Parker. It's a calculated risk worth taking. Okay, well, when could you do this? Whenever you're. When you get Claire's blood. The fuck, Natalie? Yes, I know it will kill her, but she's gonna die anyway. She'd be sacrificing herself to save millions. Think, Amy. We can't start over again. This has been our lives for the past four years. We're not the only country trying for nano cells. I'm not a murderer. You're a monster, Kensington. Just take the blood, Amy. Time is running out. Deal or no deal? Oh, God. <sighs> take the blood! <laughs> deal. Oh, excellent. Call me when it's done. Good luck. Angle. If I say no, I feel like I would doom the planet. She gonna die anyway. She's useless. What else could I say? You were right. Allie's been lying the whole time. The lab's only in lockdown mode because she ordered it. There's no other chemical threat outside of Claire's bioprotector. Yeah, there is. Actually. I knew it! I fucking knew it! I should have brushed over my needle handling. Oh, God. It goes to the bloodstream. This is Mexican standoff we're gonna lose. It won't be long until I'm like Claire and... Eventually the oxygen will run out, so Parker's crazy plan of opening that door is our only hope. <laughs> You've changed your tune. Maybe Natalie will rescue us. Yeah, you want to bet? All the evidence of her actions in Kindar is down here. The nanocells are our only leverage. Take her blood, however much you need. Just take her blood. She's gonna stop fighting back, is she? Claire, please give me your arm. Oh, God. I thought you were different. Claire, your arm. Tell me honestly. Can you save me? There's almost no chance of it. Your internal physiology is completely changed and I can't predict what's gonna happen. You're weak. Look, I don't even know if I'm gonna survive this. But if I do, I promise you that... She's gonna do something and infect her. Stop! I've got enough. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't stick it in. <laughs> That's what she said. Reese. <laughs> Just close the biodetector. Claire can live to fight another day. Oh, God. 
It's about the time I contributed an escape plan. What? While Parker was talking me through the vacuum reset, I realised that a full lab reset wouldn't be much different. We don't need those pricks upstairs. But if you reset the lab, they'll be alerted. That's where things get creative. I hacked into the lab security camera and recorded the last three minutes of you preparing to extract Claire's blood. I can output that three minutes of footage onto their security feed. While you escape, they'll think you're following orders. How did you come up with this? Sorry, no, we go. <laughs> OK, but what about our last remaining obstacle outside? And why are you speaking in the second person? I'm going to take him out. Oh, no. I'm infected. As soon as I step into the void, that heat flash will trigger. Maurice, you've lost it. If I die in here, lockdown mode ends and he gets in. If I die out there, so does he. And you, you have a chance. I've been the weak link. It's time to put my ass out. Just take Claire. Run. Accept it. Go. Save her. Mm -hmm. Come on, no, 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 look, I chose this, okay? And that's how you make a life. Every single choice along the way counts. This is good. I fucking hate you. Don't kiss him. You know, I went back to that beach in Kindar. Today's sip. That woman was there. Dima. She was playing with a little girl. She called a baby. <laughs> I'm sorry for leaving you. you not to. I appreciate the sentiment, though. More than you know. It's a pretty good acting. Wait! What is it, Claire? Switch places with me, Reese. At this stage, you have a far better chance of surviving than I do. Come on. You have all the evidence against Kensington. Make sure the world sees it. No, Claire, I'll do it. Drop it. The bioprotector will stop the lab detecting your infection. And you two can escape. Oh my god! Come on. I promise we'll expose Natalie and we'll share Come her story. Kamakasi? That's the name of the trophy? We can't be the fuck out of this thing. <sighs> oh, God. I hope she don't try to set me up. Did you do that, Parker? No. They do! Oh, yes! Absolutely, Arcane Khan. They do have baggage. Yeah. Thank you. This is the shit we go through in movies. Tough decisions.
Chemical threat detected. Oh my god. Heat flash initiated. Good to me. Yeah. She's going to get the nano cells. Well done, Amy. I wouldn't. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. <laughs> Three minutes. You better take that guy. No, Amy, fuck that. Get a machine gun! It's gonna be guns blazing. Alright, careful. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Ah! Oh. Here. We have to change out of our lab suits. They'll draw too much attention. How bad is it? Ooh. Can you see ooh. the bone? I'm gonna go to the disabled toilet and grab the fold-up wheelchair, okay? Change quick. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> oh my god. She's holding She's holding the machine gun out there like no problem. You better hide it. I really wasn't bluffing about the security team. Okay, there's an exit out of the back of the building. It'll be way less guarded. All right, so what we're we waiting for? Natalie's office is down there. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's. Let's finish what Claire started. My six, here we come. Stop right there, Amy Tennant. Three minutes wasn't long enough. We know Wakefield has nanocells in his system. Hand them over and this can end without bloodshed. Well, that's clearly bullshit. Just do it, Amy. Natalie's covering up the murder of innocent men, women, and children. Emily, you know this is wrong. I knew about everything. The nanosol duplicates, the testing in Kinder. I oversaw it all while you're busy fiddling with your test tubes. Fucking bit. Now hand him over. You're trapped. Amy, use me. I knew this was all a setup. Dude, you can't say that. Wait, what did he say? Use him? Don't. Fuck. Hey, hey, look, look, look. Look, I'm, I'm a pretty selfish person. But the woman behind me with the Uzi isn't, so just. Don't. Punish her for that. Where are you going with this, Reese? <laughs> you can have me, Kensington. Just let me go. No. Just trust me for once. No, no, no deal. I can't just let Amy walk out of here. She's just gonna shoot her by. Just do it, Amy. It's okay, just do it. No, but then they're gonna shoot me! Why would you do that to me? Get him back to 
security lab alpha now. Fuck you, Kensington! Lieutenant! Oh, God. Why would she throw away the gun? Like, I know the cops should chase it, but she should keep it for protection or something. I done left the other guy behind. Natalie Kensington, founder of the Kensington Corporation, was today arrested by MI6 on suspicion of crimes against humanity. This follows the discovery of footage linking her to illegal chemical testing on humans in Kandar, which resulted in the deaths of hundreds. Mm -hmm. The Kandarian embassy have denied any involvement. That's it. Where's her? So her man didn't come back. Oh man. Skip credits. Let me see. Trust me for what? Okay. Uh, personality altruistic. 82%. Okay. Seventy-six out of one ninety-six scenes discovered. One night. There's nine endings. Intelligence eighty-eight <laughs> percent. Honesty seventy-one. Okay. Curiosity, bravery, sensitivity. Wow. Oh God. So I basically trust Kensington more than everyone else. What? Are, is my problem the game was really good uh, I thought it was better than Erica in terms of the storyline it was easier to understand a little cliche I, I obviously I felt like I was being portrayed by my own company um, and the story was what's expected a crazy uh, experiment happening um, I will say Erica had better transitions. It was much more smoother because the cutscenes I had were very like snappy and it just didn't connect. You know what I mean? It just felt like when I when I made certain decisions, it just quickly like went to the scene like the music would cough and then immediately come back away. But yeah, the story way better than Erica. Um I give it a solid A. It was great. I recommend anyone to play it. I actually recommend anyone that loves interactive games to play this first before they play Erica. Just because Erica is a little bit difficult to understand, especially the ending. But yeah, I want to play some more interactive games. Like I found some cool ones on Steam. I just need to know how to connect, like sync, sync my stream Sync, sync my uh, stream to my desktop so you can see the actual game on there. But I don't know how. I'm going to have to figure that out. But yeah, we're done here.